Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm going to be doing the Eververse review, which I usually do for events and new seasons and whatnot. So first and foremost, I will be doing a guide on how to get like the blue armor to the purple armor and then the purple armor to the, the really purple armor. I'm going to be doing the guides um, currently just to show you guys where my where I'm at. If I show you right here. I am currently just finishing up the blue armor for my warlock, which that means <laughs> I have my purple armor for my hunter and my titan already. Uh, it's not that hard. I'm definitely going to be doing that video today. Not posting it today, but most likely posting it tomorrow. This video, on the other hand, will go up today. So, Eververse. I think there's a lot of cool stuff here, but if you guys know me, if you guys have been following me for a while, I just don't really care too much about these. So from what I've heard, all of these, everything in Eververse right now in the events page is available for Bright Dust either now or in the future, aside from this one, Iron Severance, which is kind of okay. I don't really care for it to be quite honest. But let's look at the Eververse stuff. So first and foremost, like we, I, I knew this was going to happen. $15 for the Solstice Warlock bundle and everyone else, obviously. But $6,000 for Bright Dust, which I'm actually kind of happy Bungie didn't increase the price. Because if you guys don't know, the, the glow actually doesn't change, or it does change color depending on which subclass you, are, you have. So technically you have three actually four subclasses because when stasis comes out you're going to be able to use stasis as well so we're getting solar arc void stasis plus the white one that is for free if you don't want to destroy this to be quite honest i wouldn't blame you i'm most likely going to do it just because i have the brightest for it but i don't know if i'm going to get my warlock or my titan i'm definitely going to get it on my hunter but we'll see the Iron Severance, which we already checked out, Catching Rays, which is an old emblem, if I remember, or not emblem, an old, an old emote, if I remember correctly, which is okay. This one is a Dragon Ball Z reference, which is funny. I am definitely going to scoop this up when Bright Dust, when it comes from Bright Dust. If it does, if it doesn't, I really don't care, to be quite honest. The Breathe In emote, which I might actually get this season. Uh, I didn't get it last one, and it, it was available for, Br for Bright Dust, but... I don't remember why I got it. It's probably expensive to be quite honest. Flag on the play, which I might do for the trials uh, emotes, which would be funny. And we have some ghosts, which I think look really bad. I would never waste my money, let alone my bright dust on this. So cool, I guess. Again, bad ones. These are all bad in my opinion, aside from like maybe this one. And then we get to the really cool stuff, which is this. I dude if i if i had like i don't know i feel like in another universe the the other tony is like definitely scooping all of this shit up but me personally i just why like what's the point it's just a sparrow it doesn't even do anything unique if it did something unique then maybe then the ones from previous seasons you can buy this one right now i'll show you guys right now then we have the ship which co looks cool but again very, just cosmetic does not do anything <clears throat> sweltering heat which is funny intimidating snap that's funny too west side i think twisty dance i don't know if this is this bad i don't want that and that's pretty much it so let's look at the bright dust real quick so ghost ghost projection the war beast skin if you don't have that the tangled paladin if you don't have that a uh, hip bump, which I haven't. I'm not getting that. Fuck that. Uh, s'mores, which is funny. I think I'm, I already have it, thankfully, so I don't need it. Uh, paperwork, which is just literally paperwork. And then the 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 sparrow. There we go. The sparrow, the boat one. I might scoop this one up just because it makes me laugh because it looks like a fucking boat, but we'll see. And then right here is the micro mini, which if you did not get this last year, you should definitely scoop it up. It's hilarious. And then you can get this ghost if you want. It has guiding light plus public defender, which is okay. You want guiding light and speed 
speed demon that's like the best one and don't and remember you should probably scoop up the new shaders for the for the event the first one was up there the second one's right here oiled algae and that's pretty much it i i'm like honestly like whatever to for this event uh, obviously i'm more into the whole this the armor the armor is like really what why i'm playing right now and dude let me tell you the grind is pretty real i saw some of the stuff for the purple armor and i am not excited to do it on three characters but the good news for me is that i don't have to do it on eight other characters including mine because last two years in a row i had to do not only mines but my friends because uh, they wanted it, but they didn't want to grind it. And they were like, hey, we'll pay you. And I was like, for sure, whatever. So as you guys can see right here, my Hunter already has it and my Titan already has it. If you're gonna ask me which one was the most fun, I would probably tell you the Titan was the most fun just because it, like, it, it was so fast for me to do the Titans. And the Warlocks, I think is like the slowest one for me. I just, uh, like I'm trudging through it. Honestly, guys, this season, this this uh, event's not as bad as previous seasons, because sure, the purple after after this armor, the grind does get real. But after that, like to masterwork the armor, it's not that crazy. It re it's really not like it's stuff that I already do on the daily. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Eververse armor. I'm definitely gonna post this today, so be expecting the guide tomorrow, most likely. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, the whole reason why these videos, like, I would have posted this on Tuesday, but we had a storm on Tuesday, which killed our modem, and we had didn't have internet for, like, a good six, seven hours, and then, like, right at night, you know, we, we ended up getting internet again, and it was cool, but that meant that I could only complete my hunter, what is it? No, actually, I completed my Hunter and my Titan, I think, yesterday. And then my Warlock I'm doing right now. So, if you guys want to know my honest opinion, the blue armor, to, to upgrade it, it only takes like two to three hours. Two to two to two and a half hours, honestly. It's not that crazy. But obviously, I'll be talking about that in that guide. I'm going to be doing them in separate videos. So, the blue to purple, the purple to masterwork, and then the master... No, wait. Yeah, so stuff like that. I'm gonna be doing it very detailed for each class. That way you guys can know everything. And probably some other videos here and there for Destiny 2. Honestly, this event brought a lot of stuff in, but also not as much as I was expecting, to be quite honest. So yeah, I will be doing a review for the Solstice of Heroes as well. And some other things that I think about here and there. If you guys wanna want me to cover anything in destiny 2 let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and other than that i will see you